you're forgetting this part. <laughs> All right, you're, you're on, Arnold. All right, thank you so much for having me, Monica. And uh, just nice at meeting everyone uh, over Zoom. I really like Zoom. I remember back in the days, I would get on these conference calls and talk to 500 people, and I would have no idea what people are doing. So now I know that Michelle's got her little one. You know, Melissa is attentive. You know, she locked herself into the room. <laughs> the kids are next door, the hubby. You know, Diana, Lucy looks, you know, tuned in. So thank you for being on. You could be anywhere right now. Uh, you're doing something unique. Um, I want to give you a, a, a shout out, first of all, for doing something unique, for, for doing something different. You know, uh, many times when you start something and you start especially an entrepreneurial venture, uh, you come across as that person that is just, you know, he's doing something completely out of, out of the ordinary and, and might get, you know, some eye roll maybe, maybe some questions from your family and friends and ask you, why are you doing this? You know, you had a long day at work or, you know, you've got two, three kids or, you know, like Michelle, again, you've got your little one that you've got to do it with. And, and I tell you what, that's what we're doing it for. So what I wanted to share is my perspective, but I wanted to share a, 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 some principles that I learned that I believe are going to be really good for you guys, uh, for, for your business, but also for your life. Uh, this is something that I learned when I first got started. In, in this space of, of direct sales, health and fitness. And so I thought about Monica's group. I thought really what would connect the most, you know, I thought I would share these foundational principles that I think can make a big difference. Now, this will not be me talking at you. This will be me sharing some principles, um, sharing some key things that I've learned and you guys participating. So at one point or the other, I might ask Monica to unmute you guys and have you guys share what you've got written down on your paper, okay? And so this will involve a pen and a paper or at least a, a cell phone if you go to your notes and write down in your, in your cell phone. However you take notes, you know, there's no judgment here. Um, so let me t tell a quick story. This, this past weekend, uh, I got a chance to actually be home. Many times I'm on the road uh, with my work or either at Super Saturday trainings doing some one-on-ones, meeting with top leaders like Monica and their teams and, and so on and so forth. And I got to be home and, and it was fun being home. We went for a walk and <clears throat> I saw this little girl about my little girl's age and uh, she was off and she was on a bike and she was riding her bike and her bike still had the training wheels on. And I noticed that she was pedaling. Um, she was favoring one side, the right side on the on the training wheels and so if you've ever been on a bike or you've got kids that age on a bike right now you know that the training wheels are there just as a as this kind of a support um as this kind of a psychological support because at some point and this is one of those things equivalent to michelle when your baby starts crawling or you know when your daughter or son starts walking monica when your baby girl started walking for the first time it's one of those moments you need to be there for, taking those training wheels off the bike and seeing the kid just go on their own. You've got their little helmets on. You know, I remember that. Um, I think I was maybe four, five, maybe, when I took the training wheels off. My cousin, uh, bless his soul, he's no longer on this earth, but he trained me and he helped me um, learn how to ride a bike. And I remember <laughs> that day like it was yesterday. You know, he took the training wheels off and I really resisted that idea. I really did not think that I could do it. And I remember being on the bike and screaming at him and I'm looking at him take off the training wheels and I'm, and at this point I'm screaming, I'm almost crying and I'm going, gosh, I need this. I need this. I, I need this training. I need these wheels. I need this support. And I looked at that little girl and I was like, her parents or her cousin or her big brother or sister that, that he's helping me is about, to, is about to experience that, right? Because she was favoring it. it. She's so close to just taking off the training wheels. But in order for that to happen, before you take off the training wheels, <clears throat> guess what needs to happen? You have to jump. You have to get a bike. Then you have to have the courage to jump on the bike. Then you've got to start pedaling on the bike. And, and, and you've got to like push on the bike because at, at first it's, really not simple. As a matter of fact, it's kind of a weird movement. There's not many times that you get on the bike and start pedaling, right? And, and you start pedaling and, and it feels hard. And 
you're wearing a helmet and it's like hot if you're living in Florida like Monica and it's like I don't want to do this and 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 you're doing something different and for a lot of you as you're getting started it feels like maybe you're just jumping on that bike maybe you're just jumping on the bike and Monica and me are, are pushing you on that bike and it's uncomfortable at first uh, people are watching you you're kind of awkward as you're going at first it's okay um, you might even fall, you know, you might even fall and, and, and hurt yourself a little bit. That's okay. I want you to know that's okay. That's part of the learning. The beautiful thing is just think to when the training wheels are off. Like that's what you need to remember. And man, when I remember that, just uh, learning and the stares of the neighbor kids that, you know, are 10 already riding the BMX or, you know, the multi-gear, you know, bikes, could, I could care less because all I'm thinking about is when Melissa finally takes off those training wheels, right? And, and Lucy and Diana and Michelle, you know, takes, takes off those training wheels. Monica, you're, that's something that you're very familiar with. And, and you can tell when a coach is ready to take off the training wheels and when they do take off the training wheels and they fly off on their own. It's a thing of beauty, right? But before you jump into all that, I think there's some fundamental things, principles. And the nice thing about principles is – you, you can change principles. Uh, principles don't change because it's raining or there's sunshine. Principles don't change because you walk up on the wrong side of the bed. Principles do not change, you know, by the year. These are principles that work regardless of whether it was 20 years ago or now or 15 years from now. These principles work, okay? So now I want you to pull your pen and paper out. This is where I want, I want some engagement, okay? And these are things that really help me guide because, you know, when you're getting into this new space of entrepreneurship, it's very easy to get lost because you jump on Google and you Google anything. There's an answer for everything. And it's very easy to get lost on you should do this and you should do that and you should do this, right? What I want to share with you is ultimately your plan for growth because this business, your challenge groups, your results in your fitness, um, your results in your business, once you start building your business, will only occur, will only, will only happen to the extent that you grow personally. They will only happen to the extent that you grow personally. The person that, gosh, Monica is, or I even remember 2012, Atlantis, Bahamas, this group of four coaches, Becky Brosette and Larry, and Christina and Danny hanging around. And I'm, I remember it vividly. I was at a reception and I was on this little um, step and I backed off and I hadn't seen that there's someone behind me. And I think I either stepped on Danny or Larry's shoe. Okay. And it was very awkward because I was like, oh, uh, was it Danny? I stepped on him. Okay. I totally stepped on him. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And, and I turn around and I see these and who knew they're the founder of Diesel Nation. Right. And you know, Monica's, you know, team and Diesel Core and obviously all of you. And, um, and, and I remember turning around, it's like, and then every event I would see this group before, and then all of a sudden this group started growing, right? I don't know where I was going with that, but again, they started, they started from where you are, um, awkwardly trying to figure things out, right? Okay, so, so here, is, here are the principles, okay? Here are the principles. Um, I want you to take a, a blank sheet of paper, okay? And, and on that blank sheet of paper, I want you to start writing things that you want to do with your life. What are the things that you want to do with your life? Now, I don't want you to put a limit on it. I want you from, to think from anything from I want to be an emerald coach to a diamond coach to I want to help five people lose uh, 100 pounds each. Um, you know, I want to see my son, you know, ride on a bike, take the train wheels off. Um, you know, I want to go on a vacation to New York, watch, you know, a Broadway show to, um, I'm not going to on a safari. I want to open a school like anything. Okay. I want you to write anything and everything from kind of the smallest goal that you think is achievable to the largest goal that you've got in your mind. Okay. You should start writing and you should, you should, by the way, if you have a journal, this will be a perfect place to start writing those down. This is a list that you go back to and you go back to often, okay? 
And as you're writing all that, okay, and, and, and I want you to finish that after this call, as you're writing all that, um, after you're done writing all that, and I want you to write it on just one page, okay, on, on, as, many, on as, you know, as many things as possible in five minutes, okay? Once you're done doing that, the next, the next, the next part is this. Look at your list, and then I want you to write one, three, five, or 10, okay, next to each of those things. What that means is I want you to write whether it's a one-year goal, a three-year goal, a five-year goal, or a 10-year goal, okay? If it's more than 10, just write 10, okay? One, three, five, 10. If it's more than 10, just write 10, okay? And by the way, this is not something that I've, you know, that I've created. This is something that one of my first mentors, Jim Rohn, if you haven't read Jim Rohn, if you haven't listened to Jim Rohn, highly, highly recommend uh, Jim Rohn. Okay, so once you've written one, three, five, and 10, the next part is the critical part. Listen to me close, okay? I want you to then create another list where you write one, three, five, and 10, four different pages. And on each of those pages, you write one year goal, your three year goal, five year goals, and 10 year goals, okay? So you're separating out your goals, okay? Now, then the next part is the critical part. And the critical part is this. I want you to write that down, the kind of person you need to become in order to reach those goals. What kind of person does Kelsey need to become? What kind of skills does Kelsey need to learn? What kind of um, relationships does Melissa need to build? What kind of, what kind of um, uh, strengths does Mary Bell need to work on? Um, what, what, kind of, what kind of books does, you know, uh, d- does one need to read to become the person that, it, that deserves the one, the three, the five, and the 10-year goal, okay? And that, ladies, is your personal growth plan. That's how you base everything. That's your personal growth plan. What you do from there, like I said at the beginning, I said, you can go into personal development and search, and there will be 500 million different things to go for. Every month, you will hear a book of the, of the, uh, book of the month, a book of, book of the quarter. You'll hear all kinds of things. What I want you to do is I want you to set your sail. I want you to understand what your true north is. Because what happens as an entrepreneur, once you set your sail and once you set your true north, once you set your true north, the winds of change, um, the winds of family that don't support what you do, the winds of friends that support what you do, the winds of your, your, your friends and your family, uh, your, 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 your challengers, um, reaching their goals, your, your, your wins of your coaches, um, reaching their goals, there's going to be positive and negative wins. And as these wins occur, okay, if you have a true north set, then it doesn't matter what kind of wind you have. You learn how to utilize the good wins and you learn how to set aside the bad wins because both sets of wins happen the moment you become an entrepreneur. And you have to have that agreement. Based on that, what I would do is I would then say, listen, Monica is, is your mentor. I would then say, Monica, these are my one, three, five, ten 10-year goals. This is who I want to become. What are the resources I should go for? What are the resources that you recommend me take uh, part of to learn how to become a better leader, to learn how to become a better communicator, to learn how to uh, push through when the going gets stuck, right? Uh, to learn how to sacrifice all these different skill sets. But I want you to focus, by the way, I want you to focus on your one, your goals first. The three, five, and 10, I want you to put on the shelf for now, but I want you to focus on your one year goal because I'll tell you this, if you can focus on the next step, the step after that, they just show up in front of you all of a sudden, right? But you have got to focus on those first steps. The author's name is Jim Rohn, okay? The author's name is Jim Rohn. And I promise you, I promise you, if you can do that, if you can do that, some great things are going to happen. Let me end with this. And I want to ask a few of you, 
what you've got on your, uh, I, I, want, I, want, I want to ask a few of you, okay, what are the skill sets that you need to grow? Think about it, okay, just if there's one skill set that you need to learn, that you need to get better at, what would that be, okay? I'm going to come around the horn and ask a few of you, okay? So just circle it or underline it. The last thing that I want to share is, is this. I've been with Beachbody now for six years, and, and, if, and I'm asked oftentimes, you know, what are the, what are the things that you see um, that help move the needle for people, right? What are the things that help move the needle for people? And I can think of just two examples, okay? The first example um, is my good friend. Her name is Sherry Strang. Um, Sherry uh, suffers from, she's, she's in a wheelchair. Uh, Sherry's a coach. She's a one-star diamond. She's what we call a success club all-star, which means she has helped three people a month for more than 24 months. She's a legend. Uh, for 24 months, she's helped three people or more. And Sherry many times has had a lot of any, this has been, you know, things that she's shared openly, openly. So I'm not violating anything that she hasn't shared before. Uh, she's been in the hospital. Uh, she's been through a, unfortunately a breakup. Uh, she's been through a lawsuit. She's also been through some incredible things like, um, you know, she's, she's very close friends with uh, John Schneider from the Dukes of Hazards. If any of you, are uh, uh, of an age uh, to remember that. He's a Hollywood you know, celebrity. Um, she literally has signed up her nurses from her hospital bed, okay? And she was recently in Punta Cana. She earned a trip, okay? What does Sherry have? She has these three things, okay? Another story that I wanted to share, uh, there is a coach that um, for a long time, for a long time, um, was trying to build her business, and it took her six months to achieve what is called Emerald Coach. You might or might not be familiar with. Monica might have shared that with you. It's really helping two coaches. Uh, it took this coach six months to get started and to, to get going. Uh, then it took her another year to reach another status of Diamond Coach. That's not, that's, that's, sorry, that took her another uh, – yeah, that took her another year. That's now a year and a half, and then took her another – six months to get to one star diamond and then to get to one star diamond. That, and that's two years. That's 24 months of really pushing hard to achieve one star diamond. And, and now that coach, because of that perseverance, you know, uh, and these three things that I want to share with you in closing is not a superstar diamond. She was the recipient of the leadership award. With, uh, uh, she was the recipient of the leadership award last year at summit. And her name is, Leslie Cordes, she's a 15 star diamond, one of the highest ranks in the company. The three things that these two coaches that seem to have various different, you know, uh, not only strategies, but um, journeys here um, are three. Number one, um, that you have to have, you have to have a big why. You have to have a reason that's going to push you. Um, and the reason has got to be um, a reason that kind of pulls at your heartstrings, okay? And um, I want to go through an exercise, Monica, uh, before, before the end to kind of help pull those reasons out. Okay, this is a very effective exercise. Um, the second thing is they have to, you have to have a big heart, okay? A big heart really happens in two, one of two ways. Number one, a big heart is someone that has a work ethic. Um, as an entrepreneur, some of the most successful entrepreneurs have the, have the greatest work ethic of you know, of anybody that I've ever met. Um, but a big heart um, shows itself in, in, in how much you care about people. Um, if you truly, truly care about your, your challengers, um, you'll, see that, you'll see that you have um, one of the key ingredients, in my estimation, to be very successful in your Team Beach Buddy business. And then the last one, you have to be coachable. You have to listen to people that have been there before you. Uh, beautiful thing about Monica is she has learned what it takes to be successful. So, uh, I remember when I was in a different industry, I was in real estate when, uh, anybody that could, you know, that had a heartbeat could get a loan. I was really into real estate back then. It was awesome for a while. And, and I went to my mentor and I said, teach me all, you know, teach me what I need to do. And I did exactly what 
they told me to do. That's what I would ask Monica. Tell me what I need to do. I'll do double, triple what, what, uh, what I'm asking you to do, okay? So, um, so those are the three things. Before I let you go, I want to listen to a, I want to hear a few of the things that you guys have written down. So Monica, why don't you unmute a few people? Just one thing, and let's just go around the horn for those that can share. I know a few are on the, the phone. And then I'll close up with something. Sounds like a the- plan. Does anybody want to volunteer? I'm telling you, Arnold, you know how you attract who you are? Well, you know I'm very outgoing. I'm an extrovert. I have no problem speaking. Somehow, almost every single one of these ladies are extremely shy. And I'm like, what? What, what did I do this time? I <laughs> get it. <laughs> no way. Someone is going to prove you <laughs> They're going to prove me right? wrong. Who's going to prove me wrong tonight? So who would like to volunteer to share first? <laughs> Melissa hides behind her notebook. <laughs> you know, if you do that, you're attracting attention, right? Exactly. So you're up, Melissa. <laughs> My teacher you wanna, friend. You want to unmute yourself? Oh, I'll, I'll unmute it. I know it's a little complicated when you're first starting. Okay, Melissa, you are unmuted. You there? What was the question? Okay. <laughs> So you, so, so I asked you to write your one, three, five, ten year goals, right? Why don't you pick just one thing that you want to share from there? It can be the smallest or the biggest dream that you have. Um, I want to learn how to get my nutrition right. Um, Excellent. That's one of my goals. Thanks for sharing that, Melissa. And the beautiful thing is you can pay it forward with a lot of people. All right. Who else? How about can we, can we Lucy? Add she raised can, her hand. Oh, Lucy. Okay, wait. One second, Lucy. Can we, can we ask one more thing with that, Melissa? How about one thing that would fill the gap, like one skill set that you would have to work on to become, let's say, better at your nutrition? So what would be that? What, what did you write down for the skill sets? Great. Well, I just, I just started writing the first three. So I wrote about getting stronger. I wrote about um, getting, you know, the nutrition correctly with the, the Shakeology and, and the portions and all that, which I have to read a little. So my goal was to do that this summer, and I just had officially my first day off. So that's what I'm – that's my main goal. Work on that first and then continue on from there. So it sounds kind of like organization, like getting yourself together. Yes, getting everything Boom. together. Every, starting okay. everything, you know. And taking my notes. See that? Love it. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Get it organized. The I drank my shake. But, you know, I need to get it all together. All right. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Melissa. All right, Lucy, you're on. I unmuted you. Go oh, for it. Okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Okay, um, I want to work on my personal growth. So I'm not the type of person of like be reading a lot and stuff like that. So I would like to be, you know, to work on that. So Excellent. Is there a um, side of personal growth that you want to learn on um, communications, leadership, time management, uh, influence? Uh, what, what stands out to you? Um, I'll say communication and leadership. Awesome. 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 Are, um, are you a parent? Yes, I okay. am. You're a leader. <laughs> you are a leader. You are absolutely a leader. And, and it's hard being a parent, right? And now I've, I give so many kudos to my parents because, gosh, four kids, I don't know how they did it. Um, <laughs> Monica, I want to do something in closing. And I'm going to my phone and I'm going to ask everybody to go to your phone. Uh, if you're already, if you're listening from the phone or you're watching Michelle um, or, uh, from the phone, you can certainly do this exercise later. Um, I want you to go to your albums on your phones and then I want you to go to photos on your phones. Okay, go to photos. I'm going there, right there with you. Uh, and I want you to look for photos. Uh, for people that you're doing this for, uh, for people that you're waking up in the morning for, for people that you're going in the middle of the day during your break, you're going to do extra work for. 
uh, for people who, who you want to be healthy and fit for for a long time. And I want you to have that picture up, okay? Have that picture up, and I want you to share it with everyone, okay? So just bring it up, and I want everybody to share it with everyone. Let's see all those. Let's see all those. You're going to need to keep it um, showing. I know the screens turn off, okay? Okay, so let's see. Is that Ayane? Is that how you say your name? All I, right. Ayane, no? Ayane? I, I, I always okay. I butcher it too. Don't worry. <laughs> all right. So let look at all those, right? How powerful is this? Look at all those. Look at all those. I wonder I, I wonder if you can take a picture of this. I know you're holding your phone, Monica. Oh, you, you know I am. At the end of this call, I'm recording. So I okay, great, great. Shot. <laughs> okay, so let me close with this. We've all seen these wonderful pictures. I want each of us, you guys are, are a sorority. You're a mastermind. Um, next time that Kelsey or Michelle or Melissa or Lucy or Diana uh, or anybody listening in or watching this recording um, feels like giving up, remind them of, this, of these pictures and, uh, and tell them this. Go ahead and quit. Those people that you just showed us, they don't matter. Go ahead and quit on them. Go ahead and quit on them. I'd like you to see you try to quit on them. Those people that, 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 that matter so much to you. When I was talking about a big why, I was not playing. You've got to find a big why that makes you want to reach across the screen and slap me upside the head. Because you know you're never going to quit on people like that. We'll quit on ourselves, but we will never quit on the people that matter to us the most. And so next time you don't feel like doing the workout, bring up that picture. Next time you don't feel like doing a follow-up, bring up that picture. Next time you don't feel like inviting, bring up that picture again. Because I promise you, it's going to get off, get you off your butt. It's going to get you out of bed. It's going to wake you up in the morning. It's going to keep you going at night just when you don't feel like doing it. Listen, this is not a sprint. This is a marathon, a minute for life. Monica is in it right next to you. I look forward to celebrating some great things. This is a great group, guys. I uh, love the energy that I'm, that I'm feeling you know, from you guys. Monica, thank you so much for having me on. Um, I want you to let, I wanna let you finish the call, but for those of you that are on, thank you so very much. For those of you that will be watching the recording, I look forward to jumping on another call and talking more tactical. But for now, I felt that this was on my heart. This is what I wanted to share. And I hope that it makes a difference in, in your lives and in your businesses. Oh, you rock, Arnold. Thank you so much. It is a privilege to have you speak to us tonight. And thank you for your time. Uh, it looks like you're in one of your kids' rooms. Is, is that what you're at? With the crib? I am. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm my in God. my <laughs> Thank you so much. That's thank you so crib much. Right there. Coming to us from his home, guys. <laughs> That's really hard. That's really hard. And that's because I know um, Arnold is just as passionate as I am about what we do in Beachbody. I mean, it, it trickles up and down corporate coaching network. I mean, we're in this together. So guys, I hope you felt the love tonight. I hope you felt the love. It's a true person. Absolutely. Thank you, Arnold. Take care, Have everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye. All right, guys, stay on with me. All right. Oh my God. That was so powerful. I hope you guys felt that. And I really hope that you soaked it in and really took it in because I I do remember, I do remember clearly being exactly where you guys are right now, starting my business. And it was kind of hard to wrap my mind around the things that we just talked about. Like, I don't know about your list, but my list, I mean, I could still sit there and make a list because it never stops. I've been in this business for five years. And once upon a time, you know, I was sitting there wanting to get my nutrition in line too, you know, and then I found my way with that and it just started snowballing into bigger and bigger things. Um, but I want you to know that you're in the right place. And kind of what Arnold said is true. Um, it, the difference between whether this will be something that will absolutely change your life in a big way or whether it'll just be a great hobby um, is up to what you put into it and the vision that you have. And that's what we're talking about um, with the why. It's the vision that you have for what you want. And there's nothing too big and there's nothing that is going to sound silly to me that you bring to the table. Um, it's what matters to you and it's what's going to drive you. And when I look at my family, listen, that was like, I mean, I'm a, I'll be real. When I started this business, it didn't really revolve around them 
except for the fact that I just wanted to be more confident. I wanted to be in a better damn mood because I was one cranky mom. I was a mom that felt like I was 500,000 versions of myself. I couldn't, you know, I woke up every day groggy, living off of coffee. I went to bed every day, probably snapping at the kids more than I should have. Um, and I just, every day I remember t- asking myself, like, how, how am I going to keep doing this? You know, like I feel like, like so weak and so, um, and so groggy and so out of sync. And that's what I wanted going into Beachbody. I just wanted to feel better. I, it was so, so, so selfish. I wanted to look better because I thought it was going to make me feel better, right? That's A. And B, I wanted to be more energetic. And um, it started there. And then when I look at my family now, they're still my why. Um, like he says, I cannot give up for them because what this business has done, the opportunity has given us. And what it continues to do is so powerful. And um, I hope to pave the way for you guys to be, you know, to light that, that path for you. Uh, but absolutely, 100%, it will only work if you've got the vision for yourself. Because it's not enough for me to have it. you got to yeah. want it. And there are going to be days that you're not going to want to wake up. You're not going to want to plug into a team call. You're not going to want to go post, you know, about your day or, or whatnot. But then those are the things where you're going to have to dig deep and say, okay, what do I want? You know, and what, you know, what, what, what did I set, you know, what's that quote that says like commitment means doing, you know, what you said you were going to do long after the feeling that you set it in goes away. That's what you got to look for. And you got to find ways to get yourself kind of like, like Tony Robbins says, like the, at the snap of your fingers, step yourself back to why you're doing this. Um, I can tell you that personal development plays a big role for me. If I'm in a funk, if I'm in a true funk, and, I, and, and you guys want me to be completely transparent, I've been in a funk for a couple of days now because I feel like so many personal things were happening. For example, my, the, the retreat that we just had, that was a lot of disconnect for me from the business, from my own personal business and from the team, from you guys even. Um, entre leadership while I was gone, that was another disconnect. And then I had some, you know, personal things like my best friend's baby shower and, and, you know, the kids football and all that, all those things cause disconnects for me. And when I have a disconnect, I feel like I'm out of whack. And when I'm out of whack, I get frustrated and that's been me. But what did I do? I've learned ways to get myself back in on track and out of the funk. And it deals with plugging into PD. So I'll put in a great motivational video. Usually it's either Tony Robbins or Les Brown that I go to. I mean, I know my people or I'll pick up my books and I'll plug in or I'll, I know action steps. I'll sit down. I'll write my list of things. I'm like, I'm getting this done today. That's it. Enough is enough is enough. You'll get there guys. You'll get there, right? Baby steps. But what are not covered is very important. Knowing the why and knowing what you're doing this for and then sticking to it is going to be paramount. It's going to be everything. All right. So with that being said, let's start getting into the X and O's, right? Cause we're talking about now, um, just vision, um, and what it takes, but now let's really get into the meat and potatoes of what our next step is as a group. Um, with the exception of Kelsey, I know a lot of you guys, um, were just completing your first round of a program ever. You had never done a program before. You had never drank Shakeology before. You were kind of just getting to know it, familiarizing yourself. Um, but I let you know three weeks ago when you signed up to be a coach that it was imperative that you went in 100%. Because if I'm correct, and I think Lucy can attest to this, you all should be done with your at least first set of 21-day fix results. Okay? So raise your hand if you've got after pictures now. Either that you're going to take today or tomorrow. Just, uh, just Lucy. Nobody else did it. Michelle, I know Michelle's putting the baby to sleep. I'll find out with her. Christina, or put, drop into the chat section. All right. See, guys, this was extremely important to do, to commit to one program so that we had something. So trying different workouts. Okay. This was completely important. That's why I wanted everybody to start the 21 day fix because I knew it was a start to finish. Okay. To get a set of results that we could break out with. All right. It was very important. If you haven't done it yet, now's the time to do it. Let's do that. Um, coincidentally, I'm going to say coincidentally, Lucy is the one that started and finished a program. She's also been the one very, very disciplined on posting every single day and sharing. So she's already started the foundation. She's already had people start asking her questions. She's already had um, people interested in what she's doing. You see how that works out? She's not only feeding herself, 
with the, what it takes to understand right. the programs, understand Shakeology, why she's doing it, but now she's attracting people that are ready to go. All right. I was really hoping to have more of you guys on board with that, but I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys. Hold on one second. Where can we find a tutorial on better posting? Okay. Have you completed New Coach University? Mm, no. That's a big deal. It's another big deal. New Coach University, if I'm not mistaken, day four is all about social media. Yeah. Can we start over? Where can we find oh, My pictures are scary. <laughs> You're so funny. Listen, guys, my before pictures are horrendous. When I took them, I think I cried when I took them, and I was like, oh, this will never see the light of day. And today, I love them because obviously I've come a long way, and I'm proud of them. I'm proud of what I've done. Hold on. Somebody is unmuted, and I think it's Diana again. Um, mute, mute audio. Okay, I muted it. Um, I'm very proud of them. So take them guys. I don't care how horrific they are. It does not matter. You need to take these photos because you're going, they're, they are what your business is going to thrive off of. All right. And you need that after picture. So let, let's get committed guys. This is what I'm talking about when I say skin in the game. This is what I'm talking about, you know, focus and determination. This is where it's, it starts. All right. So what I want to talk to you guys about tonight, um, for Lucy, she can get started on this right away. For the rest of you guys, take the notes down and now tell yourself, okay, when I'm ready, I'm going to get out there and, and take this next step. We're going to talk about setting up your first challenge group, okay? So let me, um, hold on one second. I'm going to stop this recording. I'm going to start a new one. Give me one second.